good morning everybody we are all gathered here today at the ndw lionel memorial auditorium to award slma awards for medical excellence in media and the innovation awards this event is conducted with permission from the ministry of health under strict covid 19 prevention guidelines without further ado i would like to invite Dr. Padma Gunaratna, President SLMA, to welcome the gathering. Dr. Rui Sanifa, Vice President of the sorry, past President of the Sri Lanka Medical Association, the council members who have gathered here for the SLMA Awards for Medical Excellence and Innovations, the media professionals, parents. and award winners good morning to all of you the at the outset uh, let me initially uh, recollect your memories on how we started awarding this awards the the last year was a little exceptional year and we felt that at that time because we all had to change the way our day to day work the way that we did day to day work so there had to be many inventions to come up so there are a lot of people that who were coming up with a lot of suggestions and they were being displayed demonstrated and there was so much of publicity given for uh, all these inventions so all inventions i mean say with the irrespective of whether big or small they start at small level and then they little by little become big sometimes we see that there are very much expensive massive gadgets that are being imported but then they do not suit our setting so it's a little invention that would make that the bigger invention make it acceptable to our community so there are four based on many of these issues and there are, as there were many inventions we thought that we need to uh, give prominence in courage uh, particularly children uh, that who come up with inventions as well as the university uh, uh, level or any other professionals so the uh, so based on that the invention awards were commenced and this is the second time that we are awarding students uh, or the uh, the uh, inventors on the uh, award for inventions the uh, media award of course we all the time i mean as healthcare professionals we know that uh, we work with humans and there are many things that we have to communicate for people as well as there are many things that media has to report from people to medical professionals so the uh, in in reporting uh, there are many say as medical professionals we have so much of ethics that we are supposed to adhere when giving care for patients so those ethics are being taught for medical professionals from the first year itself and then we are supposed to adhere to those ethics if we do not adhere to ethics that would create chaos to all of us because the patients would stop coming to see doctors and you will not be able to get i mean make use of any of the doctors if we do not adhere to our basic ethics as i mean just like that even for media there are many ethics that are applicable and even when we work with media and the when media work with us there are many ethics that we need to adhere to and then for media uh, it is for say for us i mean there are say, particularly last year there are so many messages that we were interested in communicating to public all at once and that the activity i mean all that objective was achieved for us only through media so the the uh, the amount of contribution that media did to control the uh, uh, the pandemic itself is so much and uh, uh, that itself uh, needs deserves so much appreciation because it's the media that uh, uh, was uh, uh, able to communicate all the messages from us 
And then uh, at the same time, even uh, otherwise, I mean, there are many uh, things, say for an instance that uh, I'm a neurologist, we know that for stroke is a very common uh, entity, common cause of death and disability here in Sri Lanka. And the government spends so much on the management of stroke patients within the first three hours. So our difficulty is to get these patients to hospitals within first three hours. More often, they, can't, they do not come within first three hours. They visit the local RV, the person, local small doctor, uh, and then the uh, smaller hospital. And then by the time they reach the bigger hospital with the, the uh, so expensive drugs, available, but still we can't make use of it because people do not arrive hospitals in time. So the, it, is the, it is on media that we depend on to educate people to get these people back to hospitals early enough for us to make use of all advanced forms of treatment. So, I mean, say it is just from my, my specialty, but at the same time, the, uh, the, uh, from others, there are many other instances that they expect media to work with them to uh, uh, propagate medical uh, uh, knowledge to the people as well as for us to function effectively to provide the services. So when we think of media, the, there are many aspects, media publications, there are many aspects that one need to be uh, concerned. One is the clarity of the message and how, how uh, uh, precise the message is. Uh, uh, and it has to be uh, in the acceptable language for people. I mean, the, the acceptable language for the community as well as it, it has to be, uh, it, the people should be able to understand for the level of their education as well as the one has to adhere to media ethics. So likewise, there are many aspects that from media also that you need to adhere to when communicating messages. So likewise, there are many things that one need to con be concerned when we are selecting the best media professional uh, uh, for, I mean, for health, uh, for health reporting uh, uh, here in Sri Lanka by the Sri Lanka Medical Association. So these are the two uh, 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 specialties or two categories that we would be concentrating today. Uh, to award them uh, uh, with the uh, uh, awards. So when uh, we organize this, you know that it's not an easy task because uh, the, there has to be someone who has to take the responsibility of organizing it. And then it needs uh, advertisement, adequate publicity has to be uh, given. I mean, it's very easy for uh, create allegations, but for us to do it, it's not easy. And then you have to collect them and then we have to find unbiased, impartial uh, uh, judges to select all these uh, uh, awards. And then only that we can decide on that to whom to be awarded. So all, all these are done by committees of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. We have the committee for inventions as well as we have a media committee. So I, at this point of time, should thank them profusely for the interest that was taken to uh, uh, do all these things very precisely so that there is uh, no uh, allegations against what we are doing. And the, all this, I assure you, guarantee you that these are impartial decisions and there is no bias in all. And we have given adequate publicity for all these uh, uh, places so that we get the due recognition the, for the award that you get from the Sri Lanka Medical Association. So with that brief introduction, let me very warmly welcome you to this, uh, 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 this auditorium of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. This is located in a house that was donated to Sri Lanka Medical Association by Dr. Vichewadana the, in 1967. The, uh, the, uh, so the, uh, 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 I'm proud to say that we have uh, all our activities of the Sri Lanka Medical Association that we took to public of this country, particularly to mitigate the COVID-19 uh, infection here in Sri Lanka, whatever the contribution that we did, was based on this office, this building. So I very warmly welcome all of you to this great institute of the Sri Lanka Medical Association. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Madam. Now, Dr. Ruiz Hanifa, Chairperson, Media Committee, Sri Lanka Medical Association, will give a brief introduction about the Media Excellence Awards. Good morning, Madam President, Madam Secretary, members of the Council. Uh, welcome to the SLMA. We live in a democracy. Democracy has three major pillars. One is the legislator, other is the executive, and third is the judiciary. But for all these to function, the main thing which binds all this together is the media, or what we call the fourth estate, uh, as has, has been used. It's not a degradatory term, I think it's a very useful term. So the ladies and gentlemen in the media have a huge role to play. And we at the SLMA recognized this quite some time ago. In 2003, under the presidency of Dr. Sunil Senevarat Nayapa, we had a media committee which was chaired by a very senior member of ours, Dr. D.N. Atukorala, who is no more. He was the one who initiated this project. The committee started, and uh, now we have been established for a very, very long time. Uh, the main reason for doing this was, like Madam President said, at that time, it was the height of the war. And we found that, but and that time there were not many TV channels, not many uh, newspapers, uh, very few. We found that particularly uh, how the, uh, the, the <coughs> electronic media operated at that time, uh, was contrary to our medical ethics. For example, I can remember an incident which actually provoked this whole thing. Kalubovila Hospital, where this bomb blast, where the TV cameras were showing the bomb blast victims, and it was uh, not, uh, not very ethical from our perspective. So we thought we must engage with the media to factually report these things in an ethical manner and convey this information to the public in a useful manner to the public, not to the doctors. So initially we started these awards only for journalists. If you are a medical person, you could not apply for these, but times have changed. And uh, we need medical communicators also. So you will see in the awards today that there are some medical professionals also who play a huge part in conveying this information to the public which is a very important thing to do, as our Madam President said. In that context, we have been having this award unbroken since 2013. Uh, last year, we didn't have the awards. But all the articles published last year are being awarded this year. This year's articles will be awarded next year. So technically, we have had an unbroken award ceremony for media excellence. We respect your contribution in the COVID scenario, particularly. And I think you have seen your role in the electronic media, in the print media, how we have from this podium and other podiums in the country conveyed health messages to the public. And we have succeeded somewhat. We have a bigger role to play uh, when the co after the COVID comes and goes about non-communicable diseases and so on, which are going to be there and which are causing uh, immense health problems to our country. So we need to create awareness. In that context, only we are uh, uh, arranging this award and giving you, recognizing your excellence in all three languages, Tamil, Sinhala, and English. We hope that you will engage with us in the future and spread this message more so that we could communicate accurate messages to the public. As you know, misinformation is easy to communicate. Accurate information is definitely difficult to communicate. That is because people believe what they want to believe, when they want to believe it, and how they want to believe it. It is where how they want to believe it, is it gentlemen in the media, ladies and gentlemen in the media, and us as medical professions have to play an active role. We need to get them to believe in the accurate information. 
we need to put it out there in a way where they can evaluate the information and uh, make their own decisions. So it is in that context that the SLMA Media Committee through, our, through from 2003, all presidents have supported this effort tremendously. And we are very grateful for uh, this year's uh, council for having taken the uh, media to another level where we are communicating directly with the people thanks to uh, ladies and gentlemen of the media. So I hope this award ceremony will recognize you and you will speak to your colleagues and tell them about uh, the importance of communicating this. We need not tell you, but we would like to recognize your work in the future. With those words, I congratulate all the winners. Uh, we had quite a lot of uh, recipients, uh, but let me also tell you it's not, not all rosy, uh, especially in the Tamil language. We are finding it very difficult to uh, get uh, award to even get articles. We know that they have been published, but for some reason, uh, they are not communicating to us. In fact, we spoke to the editors also to try to encourage. So I think uh, Mr. Merlin Marika is, I think he's here. Um, we have been working with him. So we need to spread this message, particularly among the Tamil media, because we need to get them also involved. So with those few words, I congratulate all of you. And it's nice to see younger generation coming to this uh, auditorium and uh, seeing this awards done in a very transparent way and recognizing abilities. And I think my colleagues will talk about the innovation awards a little further. So I wish all the awardees the very best and hope to engage with you very much in the future. Thank you very much and have a nice day and stay safe because as you know, B111570 is around and the media will have a huge role to play in that as well. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Hanifa. And I would request you to remain on stage. I would also like to invite Dr. Padma Gunaratna, President SLMA, also to come on stage. Okay, the first award is for the Sinhala Medium Doctor category because, uh, as Dr. Hanifa said, we advertise for doctors and the media both. And in the doctor category of Singhala doctor category, we got three submissions. So each had sent three to five articles and the doctor who won it was Dr. Shama Gunatilaka. And the article was Pilika Rogi Nasurela the Addakim in the Vaidhivarya Nagati. Next is Singhala medium journalist category that we got about six articles that were published. From that, the article that was selected was Sharire Bara Adukara Ganimata Ratri Ahara Vela Nogena Inna Epa. In the Arogya supplement in the Lake House Newspapers Private Limited by Mr. Gamini Susanta. The next one was in the Tamil medium doctor category. As Dr. Hanifa said, we only received one submission, but from him also we received three. So all three were looked into by three doctors and the article that they selected was on varicose veins in the Veera Kesari Express newspaper by Dr. Joel Arul Chelva. Next one was in the Tamil medium journalist category. Again, for that also, we only received one submission, but three articles. And the article that was selected was in the Tinakaran Lake House newspapers by Mr. Marlin Marika on cardiovascular accidents. Is Mr. Marika there? Uh, he's on his way. We will give it later. Next, the English medium category, the doctor category, we received six submissions for this category. Yes, it was given to Dr. Punami Amarasingha for the article, Gift Your Child with the Best in the Daily Mirror Vijay Newspapers Limited. I think she's in Ampara. She said her sister was coming, so we'll have to give it later. The English medium journalist category, we received five articles and the article that one was by Ms. Nadira Gunatilaka for the article use of decontamination chambers and spraying of disinfectants in COVID-19 scenarios published in Daily News, Lake House newspaper. 
Mr. Marika is here, so we will be awarding his certificate. Mr. Marika, can you come up, please? This was a new category that we were giving on social media because there was a lot of doctors uh, having educational programs on social media. So we were thinking we were going for electronic media to give doctors also. We had three submissions from doctors uh, which were looked through. And the one that won was by Dr. Pragit Suranga Premadasa. His YouTube channel is 6 lk and the last one was from electronic media category. For that, we got three submissions. And the one, the one that won was by Mr. Oshadi Deepal Gunavardhana on Corona Panthia in Sri Lanka Rupavahini Corporation. Those are the, all the awards for media. And I would like you to give a round of applause for all the awardees. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Dr. Hanek. Now we come to the next uh, presentation that is the Innovation Award because it's also new to us which was started last year with the COVID-19 and all. So to tell you about the Innovation Awards and how they were awarded this year, we have Dr. Sajid Tedirisinghe, a member of the Expert Committee on Innovation, who will give you a brief description about the award. Over to you, Sajid. Thank you, Madam. Uh, good morning, Madam President, uh, Secretary, and the past presidents, and the, the uh, distinguished guests, and all the winners of the Innovations Award. So I would like to give a small brief uh, introduction how we selected these uh, uh, categories. And now we have an open uh, advertisement that we circulated among social media and on our websites uh, on these different, different categories. Uh, the school, the universities, and the open categories. And then there were submissions uh, to our uh, request uh, from different categories. And we uh, send these uh, video clips and the abstracts uh, to the uh, expert panel uh, who are uh, in the relevant fields in the uh, biomedical and the other engineering uh, fields to assess uh, the uh, capability of uh, the innovations, whether it is a copied product or uh, any plagiarism is there, or how we can market it in future, uh, whether it is industrially applicable. So all these uh, categories and all these areas were looked in detail by the expert panel, and uh, they have uh, given the marks. So according to these marks, uh, we have selected the people uh, who will be coming uh, uh, or eligible uh, for the, uh, the prizes of these innovation awards. And it is important uh, to remember uh, know now when we were going through these uh, award, uh, innovations, uh, there were quite a new ones that uh, which can be going into a, another or a next level or the patent levels, uh, certain things that uh, we can move forward and make it uh, more user uh, friendly and usable uh, to the society. So I kindly request uh, from the, all the uh, uh, people who have uh, joined this competition, uh, don't stop at this moment. Uh, please uh, try to go it for the next level where uh, we can give this product as a, a valuable uh, item or a, uh, equipment uh, to the general public where the made in Sri Lanka products will be uh, distributed among Sri Lankans. And if you are capable uh, to take the other uh, aids from uh, the Inventions Commission or the National Science Foundation, so where you can get some uh, funding for your product. There are a lot of uh, private sector companies that are willing uh, to help you all to market your products. So just don't stop at this moment. Just uh, move forward and look for the opportunities and try to reach the international levels. So it will be very helpful. 
uh, for y'all uh, for the uh, as a product as well as uh, the sri lankans we can be proud in future thank you i would now like to invite dr padma guna ratna president slma dr sajit tesirisinga member expert committee on innovation and dr sasika sandarwani convener expert committee on innovation to come up to the stage so the first award goes to the bronze category that is a this is the school category as they said there's university and school category the, there are two bronze awards so the first one would be rmd jayawardana for the product saline machine uh, he is from sri chanda nanda buddhist college kandy this is a picture of his saline machine the next one is school category again a bronze medal for ytc sina patta bandige for the product cinnamon biochar toothpaste from dharma shoka college ambalangoda the next one school category silver that is to aacs ambul denia for the sanitizer station 2.0 from sri chandanand buddhist college kandy i think we have two boys from uh, sri chandanand the college kandy so for that category school category there is no gold medal award so next is the university category that has a bronze medal and that is to iruwb radio sensing platform for non contact vital signs by kwpp kaha vedidana bnm bandula sena ashika hansini tkw senavi ratna a karuna nayaka jagat gamage from the university of ruhuna so this is the visual sign monitoring next they don't have a silver medal being awarded there is a university category gold medal that goes to kgp vasana ap attanayaka tp veera ratna ldam aravala and kapw jayathilaka for the product a novel anti diabetic agent for type 2 diabetes mellitus again from the university of ruhuna that concludes our short ceremony but I would like to thank all of you because you have come from Kandy Ruhuna for our function. So, and I thank all the awardees who are here with us today for coming for this occasion, and our council members also are thanked for coming today. And I wish you all a pleasant weekend and stay 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 safely. And the refreshments are outside. Thank you.